Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Saturday of the 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. First day, first big day of college football season. Yeah, <laughs> go blue. Anyway, uh, the, uh, uh, the also today is a feast day in the church. It's a feast day of Pope St. Gregory the Great. Uh, one of the early popes, one of the, he was a contemporary of St. Ambrose, who was uh, a contemporary of St. Augustine, uh, instrumental in, in uh, helping St. Monica, St. Augustine's mother, uh, bring her son to conversion. And uh, so, but St. Gregory, a very uh, holy man, a, a good pope, a very uh, straightforward and uh, uh, just a, a devout pope when he was serving in the par chair of Peter that uh, and, uh, his writings were uh, used for centuries in the, uh, in the church and still are today uh, in teaching at seminaries. And so he's uh, a very well thought of and you know, he's a, you know, the doctor of the church. So it's, uh, it's an amazing legacy that uh, St. Gregory uh, has left for us. And the readings that they use for his feast day today are just beautiful and so pertinent for each and every one of us in our lives. Uh, the first reading from St. Paul talks about how everything we have is a gift from God and that there's nothing it's nothing. It's not about us, about me. It's not about anything we do, especially when it comes to uh, to evangelizing. You know, we're not evangelizing for ourselves. Come follow me. Uh, you know, do what I say and and believe what I believe. The uh, it's uh, it has nothing to do with ego or our own. Uh, so Saint Paul reminds us of that, and then the gospel. Um, the uh, apostles <laughs> arguing amongst themselves as to who, who among them is the greatest. And Jesus said to him that the rulers, the leaders, the kings of their time uh, rule it over people and, and are, uh, you know, they're, they're, they uh, make everyone subservient to them. He said, but it shall not be such with you. If you wish to be the greatest, you have to be the servant of all. Even in the gospel today, Jesus said, uh, he says, so who, you know, when you, you, you're at a, a feast, a banquet, who's greater, the person sitting at the table or the people waiting on the people seated at the table? And he says, well, of course, you know, that the, the people seated. However, I came to be the servant. And likewise for us, we too are called to service, to be the servant of all. This is the the stance that we need to take to be a leader, to be a an influential Christian, is to be a servant, to be someone who does not elevate themselves or think too much of themselves, but gives all the glory and honor and praise to God in heaven, who rightly deserves all of that. And we seek to just serve him. And so we obey his commands and we tend to the needs of one another. And that's, uh, that's the example that uh, Pope St. Gregory gives. And that's the example that Pope Francis gives. And it should be the example that all of us give as well. To be the greatest is to be the least. Jesus said, I, I myself came to serve. And if that's what Jesus did, that's what we need to do also. Let us pray for that attitude of service, that attitude of humility, that attitude of knowing the greatness of God and appreciating the gifts he continues to give us, giving him all the honor, glory, and praise 
and we serve at his beck and call. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, Word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the church to offer homage to your name from the rising of the sun to its setting. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. I shall take into my hand the saving chalice and invoke the name of the Lord. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted, how can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I, you have loosened my bonds. The thanksgiving sacrifice I make, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. In this life we fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. I shall take into my hand the saving chalice, and invoke the name of the Lord. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God highly exalted him forever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
May the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant, Jesus our Lord, furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. Through Jesus Christ, may he carry out in you all that is pleasing to him. To Christ be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among you, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. You have shown the strength of his arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them, says the Lord. Christ had compassion on the hungry, and performed a miracle of love for them. Mindful of this, let us pray. Show us your love, Lord. Lord, we recognize that all the favors we have received today come through your generosity. Do not let them return to you empty, but let them bear fruit. Show us your love, Lord. Light and salvation of all nations, protect the missionaries you have sent into the world. And kindle in them the fire of your spirit. Show us your love, Lord. Grant that man may shape the world in keeping with human dignity and respond generously to the needs of our time. Show us your love, Lord. Healer of body and spirit, comfort the sick and be present to the dying. In your mercy, visit and refresh us. Show us your love, Lord. May the faithful departed be numbered among the saints whose names are in the book of life. Show us your love, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, you redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Look upon us, give us true freedom, and bring us to the inheritance you promised. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great weekend, everyone. Blessed Sunday tomorrow, and I will see you then.